And today we're going to be looking at the Silval 12 volt diesel portable heater. That's right, this is a heater that you can install in your vehicle, in your camper, even in your house if you needed to, to give you that extra warmth in the cold days. Now it does have a built-in thermostat, it does have overheat protection, and it's fully remote control. Let's open it up, take a look at it, and I'm going to show you real quick how to install this. All right, we got some vent pieces here. And this is gonna come with everything that you need. Even a book. Check out this machine right here. Here it is. You can see you have your vent tube, you have an intake tube, you also have an exhaust tube, an airflow director or a vent right here that can go onto the front as well to direct the way that you need the, the hot air to go. And you also get an intake air filter. So when it draws the air in, it's gonna filter it for you. And you get all the hose clamps and screws that you need to fully install this. You can also see right here that you do get your remote control. You can control your temperature with this and turn it on and off. So it gives you that little added comfort of if you're nice and cold in your bed and you wanna warm things up before you get up, you got a nice, easy remote. And here's your actual digital control panel. You can pull this out and mount it somewhere externally if need be, or you can leave it right here on the front of the machine and operate it from there. So how convenient. Touchpad with your buttons and controls here or remote. All right, so what we're gonna do is, I'm gonna demonstrate on this piece of wood here how you would install this in your camper or in your trailer or even in your vehicle if you chose to. And then we're gonna actually demonstrate how it works. So let's get to it. Okay, so if you look on the bottom of the unit, you can see that you have an inlet and an outlet. So what you're gonna have to do is, I'm just gonna measure the distance between these two and you, I'm gonna put two holes in this board here, which is representing the floor of your camper, trailer, car, wherever you might be installing this. And so I'm gonna need a hole that is at least an inch wide. So we're gonna go with this blade. We're gonna go in the two inch and a quarter holes and we're gonna go on center two and a quarter inches apart. So let's go ahead and get those holes drilled. There's one. And there's two. Now I'm gonna bring the camera around where you can see more of what I'm doing over here. So what you're gonna do is you have your two pipes your exhaust pipe is gonna be the stiffer, heavier duty pipe because it has to handle higher temperatures. And your intake pipe is gonna be this little more flexible black one right here. Now the way I'm going to do it is I'm gonna turn this on the side and dump out all my connections here. This is your filter for the intake side. And you're just gonna take the exhaust one, put a hose clamp on it, and you're gonna slide it over the exhaust side. All right, and then we're gonna do the same thing with the intake side. Put your hose clamp over, slide it over the intake side. Just like that, not much to it. Now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna straighten these out and then we're going to go through the holes. Just like this. And I'm gonna slide the intake hose in as well. And it's gonna rest just like that. How cool is that? That's the most hardest part about the whole installation right there. And it's not gonna take you any time. Now, if you wanted to run this further away, you could install this with a hose clamp on here and then take your director or your vent and you could put it on the end like so, to have the air blow whichever way you wanted it to blow. So let's go ahead and we're gonna get that installed. Just like that. And then what you'll do is, you'll take this little flange piece and it will go inside the other end of the tube. We'll put your hose clamp on first. Just like so. We're gonna go ahead and tighten this up. There you go. And then this piece right here to direct the air whichever way you want it to go, just simply snaps on just like that. Now you have your vent fully installed. 
So what we need to do now is we're going to hook this up to a 12 volt source so we can get power and then we're actually going to put fuel inside and see how fast and how well it works. So let's get that. All right, so I got power hooked up to it. I'm going to go ahead. I have some diesel fuel right here that we're going to dump straight in. Put our cap back on. And one more thing, almost forgot this. We don't want to be sucking dirt and all kinds of things in through our machine. So down here below, we're going to install the, the incoming air filter. All right, I think we're ready for a test. Let's move the camera. All right, so on the control panel up here, we're going to turn the unit on. The fan has kicked on and we're going to turn the temperature up. All right, and just like that, we are up and running. Now this thing, you can set the time on. You can set timers so it comes on at certain times and you can also control it with just the thermostat as well. And another cool feature that the remote control has is you can slide this little button protector up. That way no accidental button pushes will happen. And then when you need it, you just slide it down and there's all your buttons. So very, very cool. Now you can hear this thing spooling up. I do want to just say a reminder that this is not installed like in a vehicle so you can hear the exhaust below as well as the vent up here and it's still not that loud it's still very very quiet and it is really starting to move some air you can see that it's moving quite a bit of air and it's actually picking up pace and the air coming out of here is super super warm so overall a very nice item to have you can install these in tractors you can install these in rvs you can put them in your car if you're living the van life you can install it in your van if you need to replace the heater in your camper, you can install this in there, no problem. And it's a economical heater that's extremely power efficient and it is also very, very fuel efficient. All right, I'm gonna get you a little bit closer to this. You can see that you have the light up LCD panel right here. Gives you your temperature. That's how you set all your timers and all your other functions, your power button your battery supply. Ooh, it's putting out some heat. On the side here, you can see that it's 12 volt, 40 watt. It's five to eight kW is the heating power. You can see that you've got these little cutouts so you can see your actual fuel level as well. I'm gonna come down here. You can see how I have this under here. That's the exhaust tube. That gets very, very hot. So if it's running, do not touch it. And then this is your intake tube that you would mount up in a dry place. You don't want water getting in there. But yeah, just super, super easy to do. As you can see, I'm running mine off of a little 12 volt power supply. And just overall, a great heater to use. I hope this video helps and thanks for watching.